I am not going to thunk my coffee cup down this morning. We have a rather precarious situation going on here. Now, let's see if I can just get our situation picked up very carefully here. Nope, I couldn't. <laughs> Well, those are the horns, or the whistles, or whatever you call them on uh, the Rodney. I, I, I've heard people call those whistles. Now, to me, that's, that doesn't, those things aren't really whistles. When I think of a whistle, I think of something really high-pitched. And those, those things, they're anything but high-pitched. They're like a... foghorn or something <laughs> anyway uh, we did come back to the model table and we worked our way right to the very end of step 29 uh, yeah we're we're gonna be probably turning the page well I guess we can't really turn the page until we get this uh, this part painted but we should be working at the painting today anyway let's uh, roll back and see how it is that we got to the whistles, which I can't pick up. <laughs> okay, being very careful not to spill my coffee, we are continuing right along here this afternoon. And uh, just about the time I think I'm done with step 29, for instance, I thought, okay, all we got to do now is drop the searchlights down, and uh, that's going to be it, and we can't do that until after it's painted. But, you know, we're, we've got uh, this section right here, and it has these two little gussets that we have to get. D12s, photo etch D12s, two of them. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and get those. And then we can move on to the last part of step 29, which will be what I think might possibly be the whistle, but I'm not sure. Um, at least there's, there's one on each side, whatever it is. It kind of looks like maybe it's supposed to represent the whistle. Um, looks more like a trombone to me. Uh, <laughs> anyway, well, you know, let's let's uh, let's get these, and uh, they're going to go. Let's let me move in a bit here. They're, they're going to go right underneath here. Okay. We're adjusted here so that this is at a 45 degree angle. And obviously the, everything's upside down. We're going to be wanting to put these brackets right, right underneath there. And we're just going to do a dry run here. Okay, we'll just we'll just do one here. Now I'm <clears throat> pretty sure I know how this is supposed to go. You'll, you'll notice that these uh, well, we'll put the macro lens on in a minute here. Okay. You notice that there's a little bit of, you might call it a little, I don't know, something protruding out there. Well, that is supposed to go down along the side of the funnel in, in this sort of orientation. I'm hoping you can still see it. Um, and it, it's going to go something like this. Now, because gravity's being our friend, it sort of wants to stay there. I think what I'm going to do is uh, put a little bit of CA, probably thin, just just a little bit there, so that it's sort of sticky. Maybe maybe I'll put the uh, the CA on the on the uh, bottom of the of the uh, catwalk, and uh, yeah, yeah, this is going to work out all right, I think. Okay, let's let's. Uh, Get the macro lens on here and recompose. 
Okay, this is uh, just CA thin. It's not the extra thin. All we want to do is just make it kind of kind of sticky. Now this is going to be the iffy part. I let go too soon. could just get it there there now if it cure like that that's pretty good I think it probably will I don't know if I dare touch it yet or not okay I've swung everything around here about 90 degrees or so and I've done a dry run. Now I think that what happens is it it rests up on this on this uh, rib. It doesn't actually touch the funnel where I'm putting CA on right now. This just make sure this is wet. Okay. Carefully move this. I'm just trying to reposition here so I don't shake. I want to be able to let go of this without flipping it over. Mm. It's not down. There. That's got it. Okay, moving right along here this evening. It's getting kind of late, but I'm kind of wide awake and I want to sort of keep going here. Um, all right, we've got these on. They've been reinforced. Um, I'll move in just a little bit here. And I'm not going to poke at them because I'll probably accidentally break them loose. But but they, they're on there pretty good. And then unless I catch them on something, uh, it's not going to fall off. Okay, so we've got, got this done. I mean, we've got this section done here. Um, now, this one here, we need two pieces F8. And F8 is this over here. We'll recompose. Uh, and then I do believe... The next step is painting. Then we can put our spider on, uh, but not until after after the painting's done. But I think we should get our F8s on first, because they'll have to be uh, the the uh, number 66 gray, just like everything else. Okay, let's let's do that. Okay, you knew that was coming, didn't you? Don't know if I can turn it over here. Because it, uh, it's the same on both sides. So, uh, 
the, the flashing involved is this piece right on the top. I won't cut it off now, but I, that, I'll be cutting right about there. Okay, let's get that cleaned up and uh, see if we can figure out where to put it on the funnel. Okay, I was hoping there'd be a definitive mark, you know, right here in this same place on the other side where we're supposed to drop this down. And I, I, I'm I, almost seeing something, but I, I don't know if it's, you know, something in the plastic or, or if that's actually supposed to be where it's supposed to go. However, it, it has to go right, right about here, you know, within a millimeter or so, either way. And uh, what I've done here is I've got our funnel angled so that it uh, th this area right here is, is basically level or horizontal. And I'm once again, I'm hoping I can let gravity be our friend here. And we'll just take this and hopefully I can I can release it, and it's just going to basically s sit there all by itself. Yeah. Um, it maybe could come forward just slightly. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. If it, if it could go up just a little bit so that 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 top area is Whoops. Okay. That is almost perfect. Um, okay, I know we could take the extra thin here and put it on, and it would probably work, but... Uh, we got 16 minutes after 9 right now. And I'm getting a little bit tired. I think I'd probably do a much better job if I uh, had a good night's rest. <laughs> uh, that's sort of an excuse to quit, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to call it quits right now. We're almost done here. We're, we'll, be, we'll be done with this part tomorrow. Um, I don't know about the painting part, but uh, yeah. Okay, we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And I think I'm probably going to have better luck with this thing staying in place. If it has something sort of, you might say, sticky to drop down into. Now, there's going to be one that's going to come right there. And the, I guess you call it the brace, will probably come right there. Now, let's try not to have to do this a whole big bunch of times. Let's try and get it right the first time. Now, I would like it if that brace was just above that ring. I don't know if I can... No, it just uh, it doesn't want to go in. It almost goes in. Now maybe what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to let a little bit of uh, extra thin run down that brace. And it should kind of dissolve some of that plastic. which will sort of form a sprue goo and help make the brace stick nice and strong. At least that's that's my thinking. M uh, m most of this glue that you see me putting on here is going to evaporate. 
No, I will slip on the macro lens when we do the other side. Okay, a little bit of time has passed here now. And I think we can try and carefully turn this over so that the other side is going to be, you might say, plain. In other words, it'll be horizontal. And we're going to want to be sticking this little part on it. Um, let's put the macro lens on. Okay, I may as well be honest here. This is my second attempt at this. Oh no. Well, fortunately it didn't ping very far. that uh, dry out okay I'm guessing that about an hour has passed here now since we glued this little whistle on uh, seems to me that I had said we were going to put this thing on the rotator and take a, a nice look at it um, Maybe, maybe we should do that before we start painting. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure yet exactly how to go about the painting. Well, let's let's put it on the rotator and and, uh, and have a quick look and just see how this all looks here. Um, yeah. Okay, I don't know from which angle is the best here. But at least we'll be able to see the photo etch piece pieces that we put on and our ladders on the sides and our photo etch stuff on the front here and our whistles yeah ladders on the other side now if I can just keep from breaking all this stuff off while I'm painting and that is the next step I think I'm probably going to paint the inside black first um, yeah I'll paint that black first it might need a second coat we'll, we'll see actually the, the whole thing is probably going to need two coats okay I know I had said that I was going to use the flat black but uh, I'm going to use this flat NATO black it's just sort of a I guess it's sort of more like a super dark gray. I think it might be better on the inside of the funnel. Uh, if there is any detail to be seen through the uh, cover that goes over, you know, the spider on the top, uh, I think we'll be able to see it. In other words, like the, uh, the detail on the inside where these pipes go down, we might want to see that. And my plan is this. I'm going to paint everything black down down to and including this this groove right here okay and then everything below that will be the 66 gray so this this will all be black the spider will be black or NATO black and uh, that that's the plan but a little bit of time has passed here I think what I'm going to do is <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to wind this episode up and uh, uh, then I can sort of take my time at the, uh, at the painting. Uh, right now, if I start on it, I'm going to sort of feel like I'm, I'm rushed because I want to get this done and get today's video posted. Uh, I know that when I start out a video, I say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And you can pretty much guarantee, divide in half what I say I'm going to do. And then if I'm lucky, I'll get that done. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.